Hey guys, so we are talking today about how YouTube kids content is changing. Now Vera and I have been on YouTube for each of us 10 years now. Yes. And our channels, our individual channels have 110% revolved around our family and our children. So this change is a really big one for mm -hmm. us, especially because a lot of our content that we do specifically on our channels is around and geared towards children. Right. And if and if you're online and if you if you post on YouTube, you've heard the things that are happening around COPPA yeah. and you've seen the addition to your YouTube dashboard mm -hmm. over the last two days telling you that you have to make new adjustments to the way that you upload videos and the way that you mark videos due to this COPPA announcement. And basically what's happening is YouTube and um, had a fine with the FTC, they had to pay a settlement. And with that fine came this uh, agreement that they would have to treat kids' content differently. Right. So kids' content is now separated, sort of treated very differently from the regular content on YouTube main. Now YouTube kids' app is something entirely different. Mm -hmm. They are they have always treated that sort of data collection separately than YouTube main. YouTube main and YouTube kids are two totally separate entities. Right. On YouTube main whether the video was uploaded as a children's video or as an adult video it still was just YouTube main right and the FTC said we don't like that right we want to differentiate for the children and so with this new COPPA announcement they're saying people who do uploads to YouTube have to say right this video is made for children and not only is this video made for children if it's for 13 year olds it's for a child if it's for 17 year olds it's for a child if it's for eight year olds it's for a child right and um, there's really no distinction between that so we wanted to create this video today because we want you, if you create videos for YouTube, to really stop and hear what we're saying because this is a big change and on December 10th, 2019, going forward, mm -hmm. you need to make sure that you have really, in all honesty, gone in and actually held yourself responsible for what kind of content you are producing and creating for YouTube. Right. YouTube wants to protect children. We are mothers. We think it's a great thing that they're protecting children. They can no longer collect data um, from uh, children on YouTube. And it's just something that you really have to stop right now what you're doing, because if you are actually creating video content, we need to, to make sure that you have actually gone in and made yourself compliant to what YouTube is asking you to do as a creator. Right. When we're saying about collecting data, we mean the, the there's no longer going to be personalized ads. So before, the, the way that YouTube would work is a child's uh, history or the, the actions that they took be, uh, while on the platform right. would result in different ads being displayed while on YouTube main right. and you know because of the way that this is set up right now that's no longer going to be able to happen so there's not going to be like the you know we suggest this video next for you right. uh, when it's on kid content or there's not going to be personalized ads uh, kid focused centric ads mm -hmm. targeted there's no going to be there's no longer be any targeting involved right and you really have to think about what that means for kid channels kid channels on YouTube are going to take such a heavy hit yeah they're still going to have Ads, I'm sure right but um, there the the targeting is what the highest CPM is revolving around I mean these people make the most money because you're, you're being able to highly hit and your target audience and now YouTube is not going to be able to offer that to um, the toy manufacturers or right. whoever it is that wants to sell ads and in addition to that comments have been disabled now yes which um, they have been disabled on my account and also Vera's account yes for gosh months now and mm -hmm. why this has impacted our channels is because you know YouTube works um, on an algorithm right. and what and how that algorithm works is really on a few different things so it's watch time it's mm -hmm. how many people are engaging with your actual videos through either giving it a thumbs up or leaving a comment now with our comments disabled over the last few months that really does impact how the algorithm works for us because that whole chunk is now being taken away. Right. So when we would do videos on maybe a toy review or you know maybe going on vacation, we would have a lot of comments from people going back and forth. And by the amount of comments we would get, it would keep serving the video up higher. It was helping right. us to have comments. Right. So with that disabled, and not all accounts had at that point um, their comments disabled, but going forward they will be disabled on 
really videos that are geared towards children. So what you can do right now, there's three different options that you can do and everybody has to do this. You have this to is, do it. This is not something that you can avoid. Right. You have to go and claim whether or not your channel is for children or not for children. And right. there's a place that you can do it. You go to your YouTube studio and you click on the gear icon that's on the left hand side and then you wanna select uh, channel. And then after channel, you select advanced settings. So once you're in advanced settings, you will see that it prompts you three choices. You can set the channel as one made for kids, which means that you are always serving up videos that are meant for kids. Number two, no, all the videos that you're serving up are not meant for kids. And then the third option, as you'll see, is that you would like to review every video. So it's almost on a case by case basis. Right. So maybe you do beauty videos or fashion videos that are geared towards women that, right. you know, but then another time you do a toy review. So you are able to actually decide how each video itself, which is a little bit, or I'm going to be honest with you, there's a lot of extra legwork for you, but it's, it is an option that YouTube is giving you. You can decide per video if it's geared towards children or not. And I feel like for lifestyle people, it's choice three. Yes, I mean, our, across the board. I mean, we have so many children videos because that's how we started in the beginning. Right. But since then, we have veered into so many different subjects that no, I don't think I have a child channel anymore. Right. But if you go back eight years, I have 5,000 toy videos. Right. So I do have to choose the one that says I have to do this video by video right. on my original channel, Audrey, as well. Um, but for this channel, for example, where we're offering a business business advice, thankfully we don't really have to worry about this no. because we're not talking to children and we have no intent to talk to mm -hmm. children. And you know, even at 18 years old, 17 years old, the intention is clear. This is a business channel. Right. And you know, who is this really going to affect? This is affecting uh, parody sites. This is a uh, pranks prankster sites, mm -hmm. uh, gag, you know, things, gamers. I mean, any gamer that yeah. is, even if they're doing the R-rated, uh, you know, games that are not made for children, it's still gaming. It is still for children. So right. unfortunately, those- All the those, vlogging sites, the daily vlogging, all the toy review sites. Right. I mean, we, because we are, we've been in the parent, uh, lifestyle parent space for 10 years, we, we know personally a lot of our friends who this will affect. And they're horrified. Yeah. I mean, we have friends that are, like personally, we know people that are make a full-time six-figure living on YouTube that have just bought new houses, building new houses, having this whole thing, like, you know, their lives were set up based on YouTube and now this hammer went down and they're scared. Right. They're scared to see what the next six months is going to look at. And, and to be honest with you, that's a whole different video about how you really shouldn't have all your eggs in one exactly. basket because you don't know what's going to happen with your life with one algorithm change with one FTC ruling with one government decision uh, your whole life it could be at risk if you if you're on one particular platform so but again that's a different video so yeah. Kappa uh, is is affecting everybody everybody has to do something right now on their channel again left hand side start at the gear and um, mark your channel as for kids, not for kids, or you wanna do it um, video by video. So make sure you guys give a thumbs up for this video. Also hit notifications so you know when we have videos that are coming up. And also too, thanks so much for watching. And uh, make sure you take advantage, make sure you do this. Make sure you actually go to YouTube and do this because you do not want to let this go by because they are gonna start cracking down and what we've read, accounts will just be disabled without any notification. If, if you are not compliant. Right. If so, you keep saying you are not for children and you are for children. Exactly. You are, you are, you are in and you're at risk. trouble. So don't do that. All right, stay tuned, notification bell. We'll see you next time. Permission to hustle. Don't forget to join our Facebook group if you haven't yet. We'll put the link below. Until next time.